I wanted to surprise me. That's amazing. Have you been all right all weekend? Yeah, I've been amazing. Why? You've had these red marks. It's still right? there. Are you yeah, still yeah. boxing or...? No, it's, uh, it's uh, periorbital dermatitis. I want to ask what's wrong with your eyes. Uh, periorbital dermatitis. It sounds like a space condition. Like Yeah, a few people have asked and I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre. It's like super itchy and irritating. Tried everything to get rid of it, like fasting. Fasting, gallbladder yeah. flushes, everything. But um, I am curious because it, it came up eight years ago, was yeah. present for about almost two years. Yeah. Tried everything under the sun and then one day it just resolved yeah. and then six weeks ago it came back but I, yeah I'm, I'm not sure if you don't address what's going on mentally and emotionally for somebody at best the term I use is you're gonna be the greatest version of your limited self what do you see in this because I, I fire I, yeah I, yeah, I had you a, got a big fire in about uh, and I can't crack it no, no, mate. It's I can't tough. crack it at the moment. I'm not. I'm yeah. not sure. But I'd, yeah. if you've got a perspective, I'd be all in. Well, you're a big sensitive Sally, but there's also like a lot of trapped heat emotionally, mm. and your body is trying to release it. And because you're a fire type, it's going to look through the channels that fire travels, which is liver, gallbladder, eyes, skin, and especially in the blood. Hence, so, stroke, pulmonary embolisms. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So there's just a lot of heat in your system that's asking to escape. And it's fine. It's, you know, in one way for you, you know, strapping guy, you don't want to have that. It doesn't look great. But, you know, at another level, you could say your physiology is doing its job. Yeah. But does that intuitively make oh, sense? Oh, absolutely. It does. And what's, yeah. It's kind of interesting because um, every year I have a theme. Yeah. And this year is the year of relationships. Ah. Uh, I love it. You know, I went through a uh, separation uh, two and a half years ago from uh, from my ex-wife. We're st still best of friends. There's, awesome. I'm sure there's still some, because uh, there was an ideal, because I grew up, um, parents separated when I was six months old. Uh -huh. So I waited till I was 36, 37, 38 to invest into a relationship because I was like, I'm going to yeah. do this once and I want to yeah. get this right because I want to give myself what that mm -hmm. which I did not have. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, I'm starting to sense that this is related to yeah. hurt in relation to connection and relationships. Yeah. And me being afraid of actually allowing myself to open up and yeah. be vulnerable to, to intimacy and love. Yeah, um, I mean, amazing, mate. Beautiful, right? But there's a couple of things, even the way you speak, which point to what I'm, I'm sharing Please, with yeah. you is the trap, right? Yeah. So parents separate your six months. So even in the way that you described your reaction to that, there's a lot of judgment. You even yeah. said the words like, you know, I, I want to only do this once because I want to do it right. right. Yeah. So what's implied in that as a subtext about your childhood? If you're trying to get it right, what are you saying? My childhood wasn't right. So now, however old you are, how old are you? Uh, 44. 44, so you've got over four decades of judgment. Mm. Think about that. That's a lot to carry. Mm. 44 years worth of judgment is a huge amount of friction which generates a massive amount of heat and hurt. You feel something in your heart? Yeah, beautiful. So what if you could right now with me collapse four and a half decades of judgment into complete surrender and acceptance? That'd be amazing. Yeah. Now, I love the fact you're willing to go there and I can see it already behind your eyes. I'm going to ask you a question. You can only answer yes or no. Was it wrong that your parents separated when you were six months? No. Say it again. Was it wrong that your parents separated when you were six months? No. Have you had it prior to my questioning that it was wrong? Yes. What was being the expense to you emotionally of looking back at that as though what happened wasn't what was supposed to happen? I've lived in fear. Yeah. The fear of relationships. Yeah. And fear what of else? Intimacy. Just fear of being hurt. Yeah. What else? Fear of abandonment. Yeah. What else? Fear of... Yeah, never being enough. Yeah, and you said that you're only going to do it once because you want to... Get it right. So if you're wanting to get it right, what are you fear of? Being wrong. Feel the pressure of that. Mm. Four and a half decades of trying not to do it wrong. Four and a half decades of fear that if you found intimacy, it would go. Now you're feeling it, right? And you wonder why you had a hole in your heart. <laughs> Right? This is beautiful, mate. This is gonna help so many people. And it's only because of a psychological relationship to a history that you're looking at shouldn't have been the way it was. I want you to consider 
you wouldn't be here today, you wouldn't be having this conversation with me if it weren't for the fact that your parents separated when you were six months. And for that reason, not only is it not wrong, it's actually a blessing. Mm. It is precisely what was supposed to happen. Why? Because it's what happened. Now, if people will take one thing from this whole podcast, it's that statement, they will find peace and complete reconciliation with everything that's happened in their history. Was your parents' separation at six months wrong? No. In the absence of that judgment of that event, what becomes available to you? Realizing it wasn't wrong, not only was it not wrong, it's exactly what was supposed to have happened. For which reason you are a very blessed man because of the difference you're making in people's lives right now. What becomes available to you in the absence of all judgment, four and a half decades of judgment, how do you feel right now if that's gone? Light, I feel, yeah, tingling. Yeah, there's a softness, there's a peace. Mm. I would assert that anything that's going on in your eyes, you know, that will dissipate to what degree I don't know. But the, the more you feel into this peace, surrender, acceptance, the more that friction, that judgment, that excess heat just dissipates. Mm. Because this is, I've got to get it right. This is pressure. This is judgment. See the tension? Mm. And it's throughout your body. So I've helped people who've had sexual abuse to, you know, obviously parents separating at a young age is very common, but you know, feeling like they're the unwanted stepchild or the, the kid who wasn't as successful athletic or intelligent as their sibling or whatever it is that then mm. became the precursor to their own feelings of inadequacy, all of which is completely and utterly unnecessary because it's fabricated. So beyond, is there anything wrong with the fact that your parents separated when you're six months? I'm gonna ask you another question. Is there anything wrong with you? No. What does that feel like? It feels good. Yeah. Whatever happened five seconds ago, five decades ago, is precisely what was supposed to happen. Why? Because it's what happened. And for you to find the peace and acceptance with that, you'll be a different human being. Yeah. Mate, well, I don't want to be leading no. the witness, but I think your uh, eyes are already getting better. I, I was just going to say, they actually are not itching. Western medicine, in acute cases, emergencies, phenomenal right but for these chronic conditions to me such a disservice to human beings because they're not interested in root causes they're interested in managing symptoms right it's a disease care system it's not a health care system okay so we're about three and a half hours out from the um, healing i just had with peter crone uh as you can see i'm sitting over there it was quite a uh an epic healing uh we'll do a, a contrast shot mm -hmm. looking all pretty there's um there's it's not even itchy anymore and i've been trying to treat this naturally um, for the last four, I think three, four weeks now, it's, it's going down. It's, it's actually... It's definitely less. Looking at the resolator, looking at the eyes, obviously the redness is still there, but it's nowhere near as raised. It's not itching as It's not glowing hot. What do you credit it to? <laughs> no, but actually. Well, I credit it to the release uh, of energy that was provoked by, yeah, by Peter, clearly. But uh, I've got to say, it feels completely different. I wanted to surprise me. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to do the big reveal. We wanted to do the reveal. That's amazing. We're kidding, right? Wow. Do you notice the difference? You notice the difference? Oh yeah, light and day. Yeah. Apart from just the, the discoloration, you know, it's like I could see the heat. Mm. I could see the irritation. You know, just all I wanted to do in that interview, I was just busting to just yeah. scratch and yeah, scratch yeah, and yeah. scratch yeah. and scratch and scratch. Isn't that amazing? <laughs>